Hi Pisces, welcome to your general reading for the second half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new, uh, please do check out the description box below. There is plenty of information there. Readings, information on personal readings, decks I'm using, tons of stuff there. So do please go check that out, it would be greatly appreciated. And before we get started here, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. Those who have reached out for personal readings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And those who have blessed me in an energy exchange as in a tip or a donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I could not do it without you guys and I truly do appreciate it. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so Pisces, second half of August. Half almost done summer, what, one more month? Wow, hard to believe. Okay, I hope everybody's doing well. Pisces, second half of August. This is a zodiac oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet energy. We'll see how that affects your reading. If you find you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, that's totally fine. Could be just a special message for somebody and um, the rest of the message may resonate for you. Obviously, if you clicked on it, there's a reason why. So there's probably a message in here for you somewhere. Okay, can we have one card for Pisces Spirit, please, for the last half of August? What kind of energy could be affecting Pisces? Fire energy, okay. So it could be a fire sign around you, a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. And uh, I've been getting fire and uh, Leo coming out a lot. And I know this is the end of August, so, you know, that just passed. But, you know, fire energy is also very a, pas a very passionate, energetic, enthusiastic, go-getter um, kind of energy. Just like going after what you want, having that drive and ambition. So we'll see how that um, affects your reading. All right, so this deck here, something's igniting your soul again in life, perhaps. Or you've been, you know, fire here, 23, five. Fives are about change. So, you know, maybe you've just been through a change or changing something in your life and you're feeling very excited, passionate, creative, um, a new endeavor, a new adventure, some kind of big change. And I think with your last reading, we kind of have the same uh, message, if I remember. All right, so let's get one card for Pisces. What's the energy of Pisces for the second half of August, please? Can we have one card for Pisces? Wow. That's two. Okay, let's see what we have here. Take time to breathe out. Disemanting moon. Dis, dis emanating moon, I think, is what you say here. And what do you need to release? Waning moon. So, yeah, as I said here, you could be going through a change here. Maybe there's something you're releasing that's no longer serving you. And it's also telling you to take time to breathe out. If you feel like you've been holding your breath or you feel like you've been suffocating or something or just maybe stressed out and anxious is telling you just to relax breathe in breathe out as you release or if you're releasing here releasing something that's no longer serving you let's we'll see what's on the bottom of the deck here so we have the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in capricorn wow and capricorn is coming up end of december through january or this could be past energy. Maybe you just released something the end of last year into the beginning of this year. So this is a end of a tough, tough cycle here. And I do feel like with five there on the fire that this definitely is a change for you. And maybe, you know, you're feeling anxious and nervous or maybe even exciting moving forward and you're so passionate about moving forward. It's like you're not like relaxing and taking time to like breathe in and breathe out if you're so focused on moving forward so we'll see we'll see what we get here with the tarot i'm just curious what's under there all right 
right. I don't think that uh, doesn't belong. So, okay. So let's see what's going on with Pisces the second half of August. We'll clarify with the tarot now. Let's see what's going on for you. All right. Why is Pisces in this energy? Why is Pisces in this energy, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. We have one or two cards. Why is Pisces in this energy? Let's see what we have. So we have the Two of Swords and we have the Four of Swords. So, yeah. Two of Swords, this is all air energy. So this is, you know, needing to make a decision here. And maybe you weren't really sure. And this is an energy of kind of being in solitude with the Four of Swords. So I feel like, you know, this tough decision here had to be made. And there was a lot of healing, thinking, contemplating, uh, spending time alone. As you see this woman here in the moon, the moon represents Pisces. This woman here alone, uh, just thinking and contemplating in the Four of Swords energy about what to do, where to go um, in the situation whatever your situation is, you know, contemplating this decision and really um, doing introspective work with the Four of Swords energy. All right, so what other energy is around Pisces? What, something just flipped here. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups, that's your energy. We get one more for Pisces. Well, and the hangman. Well, there's your card. So, yep. So this definitely here, <laughs> two cards of being in a contemplative state, just uh, spending time alone, being in a pause, you know, reflecting, um, getting a new perspective on things, just kind of hanging back because there's confusion here, the Seven of Cups energy. That's your energy. So, yep, just a lot of confusion, needing to make decisions looking at options, seeing things from every perspective, just hanging back, going with the flow, just thinking and contemplating here over a decision. I feel it's something that was ending and there's some sort of big change here. So let's see if we can see what your actual situation is now. So we have the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. So. So we have earth energy, we have fire and fire. Well, we have fire here with eight of wands and now we have Sagittarius energy here with the wheel. So I feel like the four of pentacles here, you know, that's kind of like holding on to your stability. The fours are about stability. So holding on to your worth, your value, your stability. Um, holding on to just what you have, I feel. Maybe there's something here you didn't really want to let go of, but a decision had to be made with the Four of Pentacles is an energy of, it's kind of like an energy of holding back, but also of holding on and not letting go. So very confused energy, like do I hold on to this or do I let it go? It's like, you know, over the Seven of Cups, like in the Two of Swords over here, like really not knowing what to do. And then you have the Eight of Wands. So this is taking action. So I feel like you finally decided what you needed to do here. You made that decision with the Two of Swords. And now you're taking action, moving forward. And there's that fire energy. You know, fast travel, action, communication. And now things are going in a better direction. With the Wheel of Fortune. You know, fate, destiny, timing is on your side. You know, the wheel's turning, and it's, everything's getting better for you, I feel. I feel like you just decided to sprint forward from a situation and move maybe in a different direction with the Wheel of Fortune, because it's almost like you're jumping out of the situation, whatever it was for you, if it was a relationship, if it was a job, um could be moving. Eight of Wands sometimes is physically moving um, also. But I feel like with the wheel here, I feel like whatever is happening is something meant to be. It's something destined that is happening to you. So whatever direction you're going, whatever choice you made, 
I feel like is going to go in your favor. I think you were reluctant to make a decision, didn't know whether to stay or go. But here, it's like you just, phew, ah, I'm going. Going in a new direction. And fate is on your side. So let's see what your advice is, Pisces. So we have the Nine of Wands and we have the Prince of Cups. So we have fire energy here again. And now we have your energy, uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So your energy here is to keep going, keep fighting. The Nine of Wands energy, you know, you've been through a hard battle, hard struggle, whatever you've been through. If it was a rocky relationship, a tough job or career, or living somewhere where you felt it just wasn't safe. Maybe you had to put bars on your windows, I don't know. And you felt like, I just got to get out of here, I have to move. I mean, what whatever your situation was, I feel like, you know, it's been a struggle, it's been tough, it's been hard, but I'm standing in my strength, my confidence, my fiery energy, and I'm just going to persevere on here and go continue on. And now it's the Prince of Cups. So this is um, the Page of Cups. So, you know, this is, you know, still being in a, like, loving, compassionate energy, no matter how hard your struggles were, not to have this tough, outer exterior towards other people or maybe being like defensive on guard um be you know not being in that energy this is your advice is to stay in a very loving caring nurturing compassionate energy as tough as things may be for you and as tough as you feel like you need to be towards other people or your circumstances it's telling you to soften up a little bit here and you know stay in that loving vibration as hard as it may be. So let's see what your possible outcome may be. So we have the lovers. So if this is, um, I mean, if you're leaving a relationship and, and going to somebody else, I, you know, this is soulmate energy. So again, um, I feel like whatever choice you make here, because you have the two of swords over here being unsure and really thinking and just kind of hanging back and not knowing whether to hang on or let go, you finally decide to take up action here and move on in a new direction with the Wheel of Fortune. You know, tough road, tough fight, but still being that loving, compassionate energy. And now, you know, this could just be in alignment with your true self, you know, where you want to be, being happy, knowing you made the right decision here. The lovers can be about making a decision or about two people coming together, you know, soulmate energy. So, I mean, you could just, could have become in line with your true self and like soulmating with yourself, you know, now you're happy, you made the right decision, you've moved on or moved away or got a new job or whatever it is for you. And you just absolutely love the space you're in now with the lover's energy. So however that plays out for you, all right, so let's get more clarity here. So we have the Six of Swords. Again, so again, leaving, I definitely feel like here you left something because the Six of Swords energy here is air energy, leaving something and going in a better direction, a more confident, peaceful, healing direction. Um, if you were living in a space where you had to have bars on your windows, maybe it was a very, um, uh, much a negative place, you know, maybe just... A lot of crime and violence and now you're going in a more peaceful calm healing place the six of swords energy the star so here's Aquarius energy so this is your wish fulfillment your dreams coming true having you know as tough of as a road you feel you've been on and you're fighting 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 or whatever it is for you your wishes and dreams are coming true here you're having faith hope and optimism um, very healing energy. You feel so calmful and peaceful now in this energy. The Queen of Cups. So there you are showing up in your reading. So s feeling in your power, feeling uh, all your Queen of Cups energy, you know, loving, caring, compassionate, um, nurturing, you know, s having a, you know, great um, intuitive, intuitive energy, um, 
and that sort of thing. So let's see what else we have here. The King of Pentacles. So, you know, we have the King and Queen. So, I mean, you could have moved on with an Earth sign. I don't know. Um, but this is Earth now. So this is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So we have King and Queen. So that could indicate the soulmate energy here. Or this is you just feeling very stable, sturdy, and grounded, um, secure. You know, you have your security, your wealth, your abundance, growth, and expansion. You know, just feeling very enriched and safe and secure. So how would that resonates for you? So the fool, so there you go. You know, just moving on. Moving on in life, leaving everything behind, no longer serving you. Resetting, restarting at zero. Leaving all past hurts and whatever struggles you've been through in the past. And knowing everything will be fine because you do have the star there, which is great energy. The high priestess. So there's your energy, Cancer Pisces. So following your higher knowing, your intuition, your gut feelings, uh, being divinely connected to source. And, you know, not really, you know, you know a lot, you're connected, you trust your intuition and your gut and your higher knowing, but you don't really tell anybody, you don't reveal anything, you kind of keep kind of keep to yourself here, you know, you don't really share a lot. So now we have the Hierophant. So this is, uh, again, this is about commitment and marriage. So if you have moved on in a relationship, you know, you could be in a new commitment or uh, you're just very, again, just very, uh, feeling very, you know, stable and grounded where you are knowing you're safe where you are now that you're divinely protected and you're safe you know there's uh, a lot of trustworthy people around you maybe in your neighborhood or if you tr switched careers it's a very um good atmosphere now it's fair it's just it's balanced let's see what else here i think it's on the bottom of the deck the tower okay so I was going to say with the Tower Aries, this is a breakdown, break up, shake up, a surprise, um, something exploding and ending, you know, whatever here. So definitely with the Tower, you know, you could have left a relationship and now you're moving on and maybe you have somebody new that's your soulmate or twin flame or there was a big shake up here with your career, um, your job, and then you left. You know, however that means for you, I mean, I don't want to say maybe, you know, something happened to your home. I mean, we do have flames here. Hopefully your house didn't burn down and you had to move, but um, it could be anything here. So here's strength. So here's Leo. It's that fire energy. So feeling confident, strong, and stable, and uh, having all that courageous energy, feeling very brave. You know, knowing when to hold back, when to, you know, have willpower. Yep, so Prince of Pentacles. So this is um, Earth Energy, Page of Pentacles. So this could have been, you know, an offer came in, maybe a new job or, or something like that, or financial help or something, you know, offers coming in of help, assistance, a new job or something like that because the Ten of Wands here, yep, fire energy so you could have ended things with a fire sign um energy here just a lot of burden and stress and just the ending of all that burden so yeah i see you branching out and going out on your own confidently in a new direction better suited for you all right so let's see pisces Pisces, what's going on for you? Let's get some guidance and advice. Put this over here for Pisces. What's the advice or guidance for Pisces, Eric, please? Thank you so much. Advice or guidance for Pisces. Okay, we got some on the floor here, so let me pick those up. Oh, sorry guys I'm sitting kind of like crooked 
next to the camera, so it's kind of uh, awkward here. Okay, so we have planting seeds. Seeds of grace are being planted in the fertile soil of my soul. So this is like planting seeds, you know, your new start, your new adventure, your new movement forward, planting the new seeds here for your future, for abundance and prosperity and wealth. And starting fresh, a wonderful new beginning is blossoming in my life. Exactly. And we have the full energy here confirming that. Planting seeds here for a fresh new beginning. Wow. And I have felt that energy. So let's see what's on the back of the um, bottom of the deck. We have exceeding expectations. I saw into excellence. So I think, you know, whatever new direction you're going into here there's a bug on me it's going to exceed your expectations yep yeah and there again with the moon energy stepping into stillness my power is born and the majesty of silence again when we have the hangman the four swords kind of energy and now realizing your power what you need to do what direction you need to go in yep and listening to your heart. I trust the messages I receive from my heart. Exactly. And embracing the future. I step into the future with an open heart. Yep, exactly. Pisces. Wow, Pisces. So starting fresh, exceeding your expectations, going deep within and knowing what you need to do, where you need to go, listening to your heart, embracing it, planting those seeds for a better future. Wow. Pisces, if this resonated for you, please do comment. I love to read the comments. If you like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe. Um, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do buy weekly, general, and love, so please do not miss out on that. Um, and sending you much light, love, and blessings. Good luck to you here in your situation. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.